That's the first ever performance by an Afghan artist at the White House, Mujda, International Women's Day 2010. There you are performing for President Barack Obama. Welcome to Breakfast Television. Thank you for having me. Uh, it must have been an absolutely incredible experience for you. We want to dive right into your story because it's an incredible one. Born in Kabul, oh, thank you. Uh, grew up until you were uh, six years old there before moving to Vancouver? Five. Five, five years old. Five. Uh, what prompted the move back to Kabul just a couple of years ago? Um, it wasn't it wasn't just a sudden thing I was thinking about it for a very long time it was very difficult for me to convince my parents it took about two three months for me to convince them but um, it was part of my plan everything was part of my plan since I was younger you know since I first went into high school and realized all the, the situation in Afghanistan everything that was happening there and as much as I was Canadian I was also Afghan and I couldn't turn my um, back on Afghanistan so I w w always wanted to go back and um, so I set a plan for myself and uh, I'm so glad everything worked out. Well, I mean, you, you found work as a model, you've released albums as a singer, a performer, but I think uh, uh, most Afghans probably know you as host of the Mujda show and... Yeah, uh, and that's the most exciting for me. I, I mean, would I know say. music's exciting, modeling was okay, but this is just extremely exciting for me. Time and, Magazine and called you oh Afghanistan's Oprah, yeah, and you don't earn a title like that by doing uh, cooking shows or taking on light topics. Uh, what do you think earned you that, that moniker from Time Magazine? First of all, it's a great honor. The f I think the first uh, paper ever to call me uh, Afghanistan's Oprah was the Vancouver Sun, hmm. and that's what led to um, everyone else calling me the Oprah of Afghanistan, but it's, it's a great honor to be called that. Um, you certainly I, I, tackle tough topics. Yes, I think that's maybe the reason why, because I went straight into the tough topics. You know, we started off with um, lighter topics and uh, just got into the really, you know, taboo topics and the serious issues that people don't even discuss at home. So that's what uh, caused all this uh, attention, because I was bringing awareness to a lot of... Um, Afghan families. Well, give us an idea of what, what you're alluding to here. I mean, are, are you talking about divorce, uh, women's rights, uh, rights yeah. within marriages? These are things that are completely normal here. I mean, freedom of speech is something that we all, we've always had in Canada and, you know, North America. But in a place like Afghanistan, where it's been under the rule of the Taliban for so long and, the, um, you know, extremists are still around, uh, it's very difficult for you to actually speak up about these things. And um, divorce is really considered something extremely negative. And, um, it's not that I was promoting divorce, it's just that, you know, you get results like burn victims, you get um, suicides, you get attempted suicides from all these women and girls. And what I wanted to do was inform the family that it's more important to take care of your own family. Family comes first, you know, and a lot of Afghans worry about what others have to say about their family and their name and their honor, you know. And so I just, I just want to make them realize that family is first and, um, you know, I also discuss domestic violence, child abuse, all these things are in my agenda. Uh, Mujda, we know that uh, the topics that you've taken on uh, mean that your life is in real danger on a regular basis. Uh, yes. Within Kabul, you travel uh, with an armored vehicle. Uh, we know that there are certain online forums dedicated to tearing down what you're trying to build up. I think what Canadians yes. want to know uh, is the investment of Canadian money and, and our Canadian troops. Are they making a difference in Afghanistan? What do you see? Definitely, definitely. Um, I know that you know the media continues to uh, look at the negatives, but I see so much positive um, impact in like everything that the Canadian um, troops are doing there, the international forces, the international community, including Canada. They're just it, without them, Afghanistan would not be as stable as it is, and I would not be able to run this show, and I would not be able to educate. Um, Afghan families, and I think that the Afghan, the security of an Afghan family means the security of the nation. So it's they're doing amazing things. Yes. Of course, you're not just doing work in Kabul. In closing, I'd like to ask you about a new partnership you have with a group uh, out of central Alberta, out of Lacombe, Alberta, A Better World. Yes. Uh, they have raised about a million and a half dollars to build 150 classrooms in Afghanistan over the next year and a half or so. What will you be doing with A Better World? I am extremely privileged and honored to be a part of you know their program and I'm so glad that I started working with them that they 
um, are working with me, but we're, um, they've, built, they've uh, raised enough funds to build 150 schools, I mean, classrooms just for this year alone and, you know, going on to the next and year. And then you'll be what? You'll be helping with the content once the classrooms are built, is yeah, that right? Yeah, once, once the classrooms are built, we're, uh, we're, my focus with them is going to be more about teacher training programs and scholarship programs and things that are going to be happening inside these classrooms. It's amazing. Changing lives and, and most importantly with this next generation of Afghans Definitely. that will move I forward to I believe education is the own. only solution for Afghanistan and I think you know that that's that's the way to go and it'll secure wow. the whole world because if Afghanistan's secure we won't see another 9-11. Yeah. Amen. Mujda, yeah. thank you for joining thank us. What so an much. honor to meet you. It's excellent work that it's you're doing. If Mujda's story ha has captivated you, and how could it not? She has so much more to tell. You can hear her address Albertans tomorrow at 4 o'clock at Canadian University College in Lacombe. For more information on what Mujda is doing along with A Better World, check out the Inside BT link at breakfasttelevision.ca.